No. WFXR Sports. And good evening live from Blacksburg where, as you can see, the countdown is well underway to the Commonwealth Clash and the long-awaited matchup after last year's rivalry game was canceled in the wake of the tragic shooting at UVA. For the Hokies, they look to retain the Commonwealth Cup that was won in Charlottesville in 2021. This year's clash will be the first for Brent Pry since he took over as head coach, but he has plenty of memories of this rivalry when he was a graduate assistant in the mid-90s. Pry knows that no matter the records, the game against UVA always becomes the biggest game of the season. I think there's always pressure to beat UVA. Always. <laughs> doesn't matter the records, doesn't matter this, that, the other. Um, you know, they're right down the highway and like I said, a ton of familiarity and I know how much it means to everybody. I think you guys know I've been pretty much 1-0, 1-0. Oh, oh. Well, this is a big 1-0 and, oh, and I'm not afraid to say it. <laughs> Yeah, safe to say Brent Pry knows what's at stake, and he says this is the biggest rivalry in college football. In addition to Commonwealth bragging rights, bowl eligibility is also on the line for these Hokies who are on the cusp of their sixth win. Tonight on First at 10, we will dive deeper into the matchup, this long-awaited matchup between UVA and Virginia Tech. We're going to hear from some of the Hokie players as well as some of the Cavaliers. That's all coming up tonight on First at 10, but for now, reporting live in Blacksburg, David Deguz on WFXR Sports.